Yeah, I got so much more space, man. Look at that. I got so much more space now on my top bar. Like, white screen gives you more size, right? 4K, high res just gives you way more. I think I gained this much more space. So in a way, it's going to help do mechanics. This is not the first time I use this Mobius. BenQ sent me this monitor when I was doing Abyssos Pro. So when I was doing Abyssos Pro, I was using this monitor. I can see things a lot better. You know, um, doing P8S and doing all those 4 full flyer and stuff, right? It was so much easier to do. And after the sponsorship and I keep this monitor back into the box and I put back my normal 23 inch monitor I immediately do P8S I was like what the f I cannot see okay the monitor today we're gonna talk about is the BenQ Mobius gaming monitor the EX3210U it's one of the best gaming monitor out there it supports all the console and also the PC it is a 32 inch 16 by 9 IPS UHD HDR wide display the refresh rate of this monitor is 144 it supports HDRI with a 1ms response time if you have an AMD graphic card you can also enjoy Enjoy the free sync premium pro for smoother gameplay oh my god you know what the monitor allows me to see the color with more vibrance settings is perfect now when i look at her it feels like it's even better than before are you guys looking at this like that because you have a small monitor why don't you guys check out the BenQ Mobius ES321OU now you can enjoy the plate even better than before I cannot wait for graphics update I cannot wait Limsa is gonna go crazy <laughs> yo I got the same monitor how are you finding it? yo nice man perfect timing <laughs> You got the same monitor how you're finding it. I think it's really good. Okay, the monitor is really big, right? So when I used to use smaller monitors, I have to play closer like that. But now because the monitor is bigger, I am now more laid back and I push the monitor all the way to the wall. So now the last one day after pushing it all the back, all the way back to the wall and like more relaxed. Oh wow, is that Arif? That's Arif. Rebirth Arif, good. She's dead. It's a game changer, right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. Like playing Final Fantasy, I notice uh, you gain extra view for sure. And I think for games like Final Fantasy 14, it definitely help. You know, like people use widescreen, but I don't like widescreen. I think widescreen is too much. Bigger monitor, higher resolution, I think it's okay. Uh, what resolution is this? This monitor is 4K res, but now I'm running 1440p just for Final Fantasy 14. Okay, let's play the game, man. I want to talk about color vibrance. Now, obviously, I cannot turn my monitor right now to show you my monitor because if I tune the color vibrance, you will not see it. I took a video for the color vibrance. For people who don't know, right, you know, like your classic monitor, you can change color tuning, right? Sure, sure. But those are very basic. Color vibrance is like a better technology. You can see how dull the color is normally on the monitor. But if you tune out the color vibrance, right, the game just looks so much better. Like you can, like things become way more distinctive. Yeah, you see? Dude, my favorite is number 14. Color vibrance number 14 is my favorite. All the colors just stand out, man. Right now, I'm playing with uh, color vibrance 14 as well. Everything pops, man. Again, on your screen, you probably can't see it. But like uh, for your personal reference, yeah, you can see a difference. When you change all these settings, you can see things just look way better. My game looks amazing right now. All the colors are... Uh, very unique, you know. It look better than reset. Uh, reset game color palette is kind of bad. Yeah, that's why people use uh, mods to make their game looks more colorful. That's what the color vibrant does. That's why a lot of monitors these days, especially BenQ monitor, come with those features. So you don't need like third party add on. You know what I mean? Yeah, look like dude. Like for me, the arena looks amazing. Everything pops up. And now I can like you see now the boss looks so small. <laughs> Back then, what I play is like that. This is my POV back then. This is my maximum zoom out back then. Yeah, like a lot of things I can't see, right? Like this was my POV back then, maximum. You know how some last time when I do this hand mechanic, I have to like turn my camera up. I don't even have to anymore. Like back then, it was like this, and I'm like, oh, oh, is it here? Oh, is it here? Definitely good for MMORPG. Yeah, and another thing, right? I, I know this one might be very weird. I never really noticed how much damage I'm doing because I never really look up. But now I can actually see my damage number better because of a bigger monitor. Now, I don't think that it's a like, gameplay breaking difference. I'm just like saying bigger res, higher res, bigger monitor. You just see more things. It's kind of unfair to be honest. No! Okay, let me tell you one thing though. It is because of the monitor I could see that I go to the wrong spot. If not, I honestly legit wouldn't think I knew I was in the wrong spot. Like, I'm not selling out here. I'm not trying to like do that on purpose. I am serious. If I didn't have this monitor, I legit would not have seen that I'm in the wrong spot. I would have continued running there and would have wiped what in the party. No meme, no cap. I'm serious, I'm serious. The fact that I could adjust to that Shikuchi and know that I was in the wrong spot is because I was able to see the opposite side. You guys know how much I hate Lala Fell. Lala Fells are small, tiny. You can't see them. 
but now with this monitor, I can actually see them. Lala felt might actually not be, be that bad anymore in grading. I saw that little potato running and I know that I went to the wrong spot. No meat, no cap. Wait, who blasted it? Someone blasted it. Wanna know how I know it's not me? Because now I can see my line better. Because of the color vibrance that I added to my monitor, I can now see this line way better than before. Okay, okay, that is a sellout. But that limit card was not a sellout. Okay, I want to cover HDRI. I have no idea what HDRI is. Let's educate ourselves. Okay, yeah, this is the monitor I have. Dude, it's so nice, man. Stand is nice. It's easy to assemble. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful monitor. Okay, HDRI. HDR, HDRI. Okay, okay, okay. HDRI auto optimizes uh, image, color, detail, and clarity in improved contrast. Okay, I do have a. Yeah, I do play around with it. That's the typical HDR. It's a HDR, right? Yeah, I guess it's mainly difference if you maybe watch a movie or you play like an RPG game that you want to enjoy scenery, I guess. Okay, tip classic, 144 hertz. You must have at least 144 hertz. I don't care what Twitter says about I am fine playing games at 30 FPS. No, shut up. Living in 2024, playing games at 30 FPS is an insult. And if they claim that 30 FPS makes the game look nicer, it's a lie. Because 30 FPS is unbearable. And if you play an FPS, this is the minimum. 144 is the minimum. Back then when they created high res 4k monitor 60 fps max but nowadays thanks to technology now your white screen or bigger monitor have what i consider the base minimum refresh rate now it's nice to have a big 4k resolution monitor they have 144 now yeah really nice okay the light tuner i know the black equalizer but i didn't know about the light tuner black equalizer is mainly targeting dark areas i think light tuner is adjusting to the ambience adjusting to even lighter parts let's just say objects are lighted up but because because it's not showing the right detail then i think it will also correct the light part to show the correct detail so if you are playing a dark game then the light tuner will make things brighter like how the black equalizer will work but if you're playing a bright game then the light tuner will tune the lighted parts that is not showing details to show more details like you see the rock here but you can't see the details on the rock right so that the light tuner will do the opposite and make the light darker to show details so i think that's what the light tuner they is. also have the software it's called the color shadow what this basically does is you can save your profile on the software and you can share profile with your friends basically that's it basically a like cloud you upload the profile so that next time you download it you upload to the cloud so that you can share with your friends just like a lot of mouse now you have all the cloud settings saving profiles this is literally it yeah this is the software to save your profiles share your profiles okay this is their sound you don't even need to buy a speaker anymore this monitor speaker is top notch i don't even use my soundbar anymore i just use this the quality is amazing now i don't know what these tags are i'm not into the technicalities but i can just tell you the sound is good yeah, it's not muffled. And then they have all these different sound settings as well. I mainly use the FPS. Oh, I care. Okay, this one is actually quite new to me. You guys know about glasses that people make so that when you play the game extended, I mean, it doesn't need to be just playing games, right? Even using the PC working long amount of time, right? You know, people will have to uh, either buy or, or, or make those prescriptors, special glasses to wear so that it filters the white light and they make it like more just so that you know you, it soothes your eye now i cannot use that i have a lot of sponsors actually that approach me for eyewear but i cannot wear that blue light lens there you go a lot of people are having it but i can't because i wear spectacles i can't so what this monitor have this monitor has the eye care everything you can control via this remote all the settings are in here so what this does right is almost like the glasses it will take away the white light it substitute it with warm light now obviously i put it at max right you don't have to put it at max so for long hours it doesn't hurt your eye so this monitor comes with the eye care mode this one is low blue light and then they also have a uh, color weakness that you can filter out red or filter out green up to you interesting feature they add to the monitor this monitor is really good man like you know how we always talk about a chair just for gaming just sit on the chair but gaming chair makes you feel more comfortable just makes you feel better better posture and stuff mouse using an mmo mouse just plays better you press more button less annoying than you know pressing every button on your keyboard Right, all these peripherals. I think today we have good peripherals that give us all the needs we want. Sponsor is one thing, but I just like using good products, man. I just like using better products. Like you see, these are the things that I think people need to know. Zeno doesn't know this. Zeno will buy a monitor like this, and Zeno doesn't know what to do with it. One day, if I ask Zeno, right, yo, Zeno, have you used the advantage of the black equalizer? Yo, Zeno, did you know that you can make dark areas pop out so that you can see things otherwise you can't see? Yo, Zeno, do you know that you can make colors better so that the Mikote play? looks better yo do you know that you can do different settings to make cat girls look better we are going into 7.0 graphic upgrade now obviously like i said because i'm taking from a camera it looks brighter but it's not this bright everything just looks beautiful man 